anyone ever wants to know what post picnic looks like, this is it. Running low. Shit. <laughs> okay. Six dollars for parking. I was there for two hours. And one hour is free. Stay with me. I love being here and back. You can just go to lunch on a Tuesday. Parking in there was like ten dollars an hour. What the hell? You got tired. Then oh, she said that. Tough. Hey guys, weird way to start the vlog. I thought we could start with a little haul because I just did some damage. I haven't been to the shops in so long. I think I went to the shops probably like three times. Obviously, groceries aside, last year like three times. And I haven't been to, like obviously West, Westfield isn't like a massive thing here like it is in Australia and especially Sydney, but there's, I just never go. But back home, like I'd go to Miranda just because I had three hours to spare and nothing to do. I'd be like, oh, I'll just pop in and have a look. Now that's just like, it's just not a thing. I did not do that at all. I haven't been to Westfield since I've been in Sydney. So I went in there regretted it i mean it didn't regret it like i walked to like i pretty much just went to zara and h&m and i kind of walked out i didn't really do much six dollars for parking and then i remembered why i hate going because it's just like it's just out of this world six dollars for parking like i was there for two hours like it was ridiculous and one hour is free so it was like six dollars in my first hour like please Anyway, I, I love that I spent money, but I'm more angry about the parking. You know, it's like when you buy things and you're like, oh, I add everything to cart and it's like $3 shipping. I'm like, yeah, nah, close all tabs. Like, it's just not happening. But anyway, I haven't tried anything on. So let's see what we can do. Okay, how bloody gorgeous are these sort of linen style pants, little trousers? They've got pockets. It was only $18. Run, don't walk, collect this. This crop was also from there. Um, like $10. Super cute. This is the exact same crop as the white one, but just in the powder blue, baby blue. I love this color so much. Rib style and it's super, like it's, it's thick, but not like hot thick. It's just like well-made thick. It's like $10. And lastly, I got this super comfy cropped tee in sage. Love the color sage. Again, it was like 10 bucks. It's from their, um, recyclable cotton range, which is great. We love to have that. This is just great for lounging around or going for a hike or something. I also got the same white style, exactly the same cut crop from Zara. Don't recommend, get the H&M one. This one is much thicker and it just feels better. Look how bloody gorgeous this one is. Oh my God, it is so unlike me. This is not me, but I could just prance and dance. I want to go to a winery. I'm going to book a winery just so I can wear this. It has an open back. Let me see if you can see. It's got an open back. Is it open? Yeah, that's just the tag. Oh, it feels like so whimsical. It just, it just feels like I need to skip everywhere. Good morning, you guys. I have done my hair and makeup this morning. I'm currently staying at my friend's house, cat sitting. I don't know where the cats are. Oh, that one's not really cold well i'll have to retouch this guy afterwards um they're probably like in the closet let's see if we can find them yeah here's one hey banksy this is little banks the other one is probably here oh. nope don't know where the other one is Bodie. he's probably under the bed actually he likes to be under the here he is he's under the bed hey buddy Tomorrow is my friend's birthday, but today she wanted a picnic um, with her and some, oh God. <laughs> she wants to have a picnic with her and some people. So I was like, I'll throw it for you. Oh my God, this is really bugging me. We have to, I'm gonna just go curl this piece quickly before I talk because I can't deal. This is my color. It is the silver bullet, the silver bullet. I love it. The only thing wrong with it is that I bought it in Australia. So I have to use an adapter to it hold it in place today we're doing a picnic I've done my work this morning so we're just getting picnic ready and if you think i'm holding this for a long time it's not it's just still heating up at the same time so that's why i'm holding it i wouldn't usually hold a piece that long it's still just warm let's see that's better that'll drop let's fix this guy um, yeah. <laughs> it gets tiring so i'm gonna you know girls Okay, that's better. 
all right so we are prepping i don't think we've ever had like a sunday moon prep video in my vlog so this will be exciting to show you how we put everything together well how i put everything together so the first step to anything is making sure the surface is clean I use blue land have always used blue land i've got my friend onto blue land so now we just are the blue land family just wanna really hi there i'm just editing the vlog just sitting on the floor really and just nearly finished but i just wanted to make it clear because it just looks like I'm being really rude and just looking sort of off camera the whole time when I'm making this board. But that's not the case. I was actually filming on my camera and my phone simultaneously. So my phone was there, my camera was there. And obviously they weren't exactly in the same spot. So I kept like looking between the two. So apologies for that. I'm not trying to be rude, but enjoy anyway. My hands are clean too. That's important. Oh, my tan is not coming through properly. <laughs> You don't want to fully cut it. You want it to be like loose so people can grab it. This is all our fresh produce, all ready to go. So I'm just going to put it beside me here. These are our two boards that we're using today. I've got this beautiful long one and this beautiful round one, which is like a lazy Susan. I also have these. These are like our little thing hummus, and we're also using a spinach and artichoke dip. So I'm just gonna take the first little bit. This is the hummus dip. This is always a hit at a party. A little bit off the top. So today for our cheeses, we've got four different cheeses. We have to see how it all fits, how it all works. But this is the aged Manchego sheep smoked cheese with a buttery texture, smoked gouda. We've got a camembert and we've got a brie. Okay, so what I like to do first, because these, the cheeses are a main attraction on a cheese board, clearly. Hey, off my bed. Off in my bag. You're in my bag. Come on. Oh. Just to scare them. So when you're using this, I like, you don't have to open it up. You just have to kind of place it where you would want to. Now we're not gonna do, it's just not gonna be like that. That's kind of gross. To actually start opening it up. I'm gonna cut it like a little V. We have two pieces. That's like that. So one is gonna go on one board, one's gonna go on the other. This is a smaller board, so I'm gonna use this. And it's got that nice round edge where you, so you can actually really nicely put it onto the edge like that. Making a cheese board, you always wanna have soft and hard cheeses. This is a hard, this is a soft, this is a hard, and this is a soft. I've already got a soft on this board, so I need to put a hard on this board too. The other thing you can do, actually slice little slivers to make it easier for your guests to take. So, and again, I'm not gonna go all the way, so it's just gonna be something for them to easily pull up. And ready to go. So we've got this little fan situation. We're half cutting the gouda again. Another big item on this board is gonna be the bread. Put that there. And then the other big thing is gonna be grapes. Grapes are so awesome on a board. So awesome. Now this stem's a little long, so I'm just gonna cut this off. Like that. And we're gonna place that like that. Now we're just gonna work around it, move things around. crackers this is gluten-free crackers and i'm gonna start stacking crackers around the vicinity here and if you're making a cheese board always make sure you're taking the spare crackers with you there's nothing worse than running out of crackers using toothpicks using olives and we're gonna have a little green section just over here That's the first board. Oh, 
We have another board to do. This is our two cheese boards, all done and dusted, looking amazing. If I do say so myself. Now what I do is I have these little tags and I like to just um, write what cheese is on there. E R I E Brie. Put that in the Brie. Just like that. There. Yeah. And then we dance again. Stay with me. Show you now how to pack up a cheese board first steps first we've got our cheese knife so we're not going to put that on the board just yet as with the signs i just put them on but we don't need them at the moment what you're going to need is a shit ton of cling wrap okay i am going to do one at a time this one is easier so i'm going to do this one first to show you so we're going to move this board over here I actually usually do this before I start preparing a board, but today I just wanted to show you how I make it, so I didn't. Hopefully I have enough and I don't run out. Oh my god, running low. Shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, please don't run out. Please don't run out. It should be fine. I kind of want to just place it in the middle. Place it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So place it like sort of here. That's perfect. And now, put them all together, this is the first step. And you want to do this super tight, but you also don't want it to push over too far. Actually, you also do a little layer, and I put it over the dips. Keep that separate. This 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 kind of just as simple as a lot of plastic goes onto this. And I kind of hate that, but it's kind of what has to happen. That is all packed. It's not going to fall anywhere. It's good to go. Now let's do the other one. And that is your board all packed up and all packed up. There's so much to take when you have these picnics. Most of the stuff's already in the car. This is just like what I have to bring. I've got all this in a cooler bag. These are frozen ice packs. Take that box. <laughs> There's just a lot to bring and it's heavy. And I'm very thankful that my friend has this little trolley here she uses. So I'm going to borrow it today. So I can take this stuff down to the car. Huh. Bags in there. That's got lots of plates and things. That's the other board. <laughs> and I have crabs. <laughs> it's so fun. Literally as I was about to leave, I get a text saying more people are coming. So, I have two more plates and one more glass. I'm gonna have to get there and have a look. Someone might have to bring stuff because I don't have much more. That I can we have arrived, there's no one around. It's great, the beach looks good. I hope it's not too windy. Last time I was at this one, it was so windy. I was trying to put up the tent and it, it just, just wasn't gonna happen. So I had to call that a day. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel too windy. It's, we'll have a look. Beautiful. We have about an hour, hour and a half. So really gotta get going. Okay, I'm kind of like procrastinating a little bit. Just a smidge. Put my key here so I don't lose it. But, oh, oh my God, it's so noisy. But what I'm gonna do, I usually have already done this, but I didn't, I just forgot and I had this in the car so I didn't get a chance to do it today. But I am going to get this letter board. I'm gonna do the letters first. So it is not Valentine's Day. So this is my boot right now. There's a bit of everything here. This is my wheelie thing that comes in so handy. This can come later. This is my floral display for the Byron Bay dis um, collection. This is the table we need to pull out. This is just the ice bucket. It's empty. So yeah, let's go. This is trip one. This one is a good beach because it has a little ramp here, which we love.
spare batteries in the car and I need to now get the food. People are late, which is great for me. And we're pretty much ready to go when people are ready. We probably have about five, 10 minutes before some people start arriving. So it is time to get the food out so we can take pictures. <gasps> this is the best part. Well, it's not really, but it's just like a big part of it. So this is my little food section over here. We have ice packs keeping the food cold. There is ice packs in here, etc., etc. It is time to take it out. post beach looks like this is it most of the stuff still in the car because I am too tired to deal with it but I've taken which actually to be quite honest which is kind of gross sometimes I don't take it out straight away like the plates and stuff that need washing today I have thankfully I'm so grateful for my friend's little thing but this is all the stuff I have to take inside I'm wearing socks and slides track pants and I couldn't look more dead. Only reason I'm really taking it up is because there's an elevator. I'm so grateful for an elevator right now. It's just so hard to carry this shit without one. Oh, oh, he's hungry. You're not happy with me. I know. It's past your dinner time. I'm coming. Today, eating cat person. Salmon and tuna. It's not anything I would ever want. I know. I know. It's tough being you. Must be so tough eating salmon and tuna. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I get it. Mmm. Yeah, that's ha that happened. That's exactly right. Mmm. And then, oh, she said that. Tough. Mmm. Twenty minutes late to feed you, and you're so cranky after twenty minutes. I I get hungry too. But, hey, no, you can't come up here, though. Down, please. Who wants to eat this one? And the other one can eat over here. Can I go for a shower in peace, please? Sounds like a yes from me. Cool. Oh, another day. Here we are. I'm going to lunch for my friend's birthday. I'm wearing the cute Zara play suit. This is bad lighting, but how cute is this wrapping paper? It's like just pastel, so I've got ribbons to match. No love it. I love being my own box. I can just go to lunch on a Tuesday. I parked on the street because parking in there was like ten dollars an hour. What the hell? Um, hi. My I did my nails this morning. A little bit of um, what do they call it? Space. N n space something. And then this is the present. It's like matches. Like pastel pastel queen happening over here anyway i probably shouldn't take my camera in so i'll just i'll vlog on my phone it's cool it's fine Perfect. i have to take both landscape and vertical i just got back lovely lovely lunch um the sun is shining it's a beautiful day it's not that warm but it's like super sunny upstairs and there's a pool so i've just put a swimsuit on and i'm gonna just lay in the sun do some emails do a bit of work from up there um just enjoy my time that i'm treating like a vacation clearly quick outfit change off for a walk I'm gonna get some stuff from target my mask but my keys, it is time to walk, work out. Now we walk home. Cool. Morning, today is Wednesday. I'm just doing a quick tidy up and then I have some meetings and then I have work to do. 
I have like some articles to write, which is really good. Um, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.